Yo, what is up? gamers we are back again with the isaac horror mod you guys loved watching me play this so much and i literally couldn't figure it out so i feel egoed and i want to try this again so as we go along i'm gonna try my best to figure out a lot of these um different puzzles get to where we were and try a bunch of different things to see what we can do i've also gone ahead and uh, muted the in-game music because quite frankly if i'm being honest with you guys the first time i played this the music kind of hurt my ears uh, after uh, it, it wasn't bad, it was just after like an hour of, you know, trying to figure it out, it hurt my ears. Oh, hi, how are you doing? So instead, I don't know, I'll put on some like uh, classic, uh, like SCP 2007 horror music because I've always wanted to do this and it's uh, kind of a perfect excuse for it. And we're back. Okay, now I am not going to be the first person that's, oh my god, ever done this before. Uh, the first person, as uh, far as I know, that has ever done this before is actually uh, a mod in one of my discords who creates their own Isaac video, Nameless24. They went ahead and grinded it out as much as they could. And I guess at the very end, they actually did eat it. Uh, let's grab this bomb and this key because they're only one cent and I know they're useful for something. So shout outs to them. If I'm unable to figure something out for an extended period of time and I feel like I don't know what the hell is going on, I'll be using them as a reference to, to get where I need to go. But I'm absolutely going to try my best to figure this out and become the puzzle master. So so what do we have to do here? I know as we move uh, left here, there's woo, spike room. This one I feel like is literally just a spike room to be a spike room. Like it could take some HP away from you. I don't think it's that important. I did some deductions. Uh, I know that there's this area that is the Terra room. We need to put corpses onto these little circles and then combine them with trinkets to get uh, basically uh, whatever you need to do. You need to do like nine of these, I believe. Uh, I need to use a bomb here as well to get this apple. I don't know what the apple's for, but it's here. Now, I did some deductions last time that I played and edited the video. I know that this room seems somewhat infinite. However, there's a key inside of it. So once you take the key and you go left, left it just puts you back over and over and over again so i think the reward in this room is literally just supposed to be the key you're not supposed to come back here because as you can see the door disappears so i'm pretty sure it's just get the key and leave understood i also believe what i found out is that uh, when you die you spawn a corpse i'm surprised i didn't notice that while playing but i think i noticed it while actually editing the video I spawned corpses, so if we're low on corpses, I might have to die on purpose so that I can put my own corpses onto the little uh, sacrifice altars and get that going. For now though, I'm just gonna continue to look around, make sure I've been to every single room, get to where we need to go. I know I need a key for this, and this is kind of like the, the charge generator thing. We gotta put that inside of the fridge for the, the store. We might as well do that right now, and then we can set up. So yeah, I'm gonna do the things that I know are possible so far. And then from there, I'm going to deduce what we have to do. Last time I played, I only got one sacrifice available and it was... Oh, hi, there's a corpse here. I might as well put this on the, the thing. There you go. Go right there. Thank you. I think it's close to me. It is close. Oh, wow. You see that clutch hide? Oh, my goodness. See you later, new. We're good. Let's push this generator into the store because this is the only time I've ever noticed this generator do anything for me. There you go. And we need to keep in mind anything you can push in this version of the game, you can push through to other rooms. That is the rule. So however that works for me, you know, I guess it, it works. When we get the generator in here, we get an ice cube. The ice cube is used with the plunger to get the first corpse. And that's kind of where I ended off and I didn't know what to do from there. Uh, I don't have enough money for it just yet, but you know, we can move on. Now that we've done that done, let's go to the other direction uh, and try and figure out the rest of these puzzles. And yeah, if uh, I get too stuck for too long, I gotta shout out Nameless24 because this guy has already solved it. I'm gonna be turning to him to, to figure out what I need to be doing here because I really want to beat this thing. Okay, nickel over here and a golden bomb. In fact, these are both sticky nickels. The obvious thing is like, okay, you obviously want me to get these sticky nickels. Like, like, come on. It's kind of hard to do because I have such low speed and no tears, so I can't shoot it in my direction that I want it to go. But with enough persistence, as long as I don't take stupid damage, there you go, I can release it. And there we go. Someone made a suggestion that I should take the safety scissors that I found earlier. I know he's coming, so I'm going to hide for a bit. Um, And try and safety scissors the golden bomb. I don't know if that's going to work, but we could try. He might be coming back here, so I'm not going to leave just yet i think he is coming back yeah use this as an opportunity to go down because i believe down is the way to the toilet poop room yes it is toilet poop room is useful but not right now i need a 
plunger first. I know that there's this room as well, which is like a bunch of turrets. I don't know if I should be doing this room without like an item or something, but I know at the end of this, there's a safety scissors, so I'm just gonna take it for now. Uh, if I get hit, I get hit, you know, whatever. Oh my god. Oh, it doesn't seem too bad to dodge. I think it's just that you go up and down a decent amount. There you go. Well, I got, I got hit, but whatever. You can see that the technology is what's showing you that they're, they're tracking you. And I believe now that we've done this, yes, it counts as the room being cleared. I can come back here anytime I want. It's gonna be okay. Those are not gonna proc anymore. Let's come back here. Um, grab a heart because I, I actually, I need it. <laughs> and then over here, can I save these scissors the bomb? Oh, oh my god, I can. Oh my god. Okay, that actually scared me. That, that scared me. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> Was there static? I feel like there was no static. I did not expect that. All right, well, let me clear this out, get the plunger, and do the toilet thing. We have to remember as well, any bombs that we have can be used infinitely. They're only going to proc when they need to be proc. Otherwise, they just do that thing. Can I blow this up? I feel like I need to basically try everything. I, there's no reason not to. I might as well try and blow everything up. You never know. Yo, what up, gamers? Where am I now? It looks like I'm about to cross the street, but don't worry. I'm being safe. I looked left and right before I crossed. I'm here to show you the sick lazy man man plushy look at him go limited time offer the link is down below and if i don't get it i might as well just explode who knows where you'll see me next i mean i might be in front of a, a mcdonald's for all i know <laughs> i'm gonna do that tomorrow i'm gonna go to a mcdonald's and i'm gonna do this thing but i'm gonna, I'm gonna do it in front of a mcdonald's it sounds funny anyway yeah sick a limited time offer go get your own and uh i'll see you guys tomorrow later i really want the mom's purse because this means that i can take like two trinkets at a time that's super useful but i don't have to cash for that right now so i'm just taking this because i know that this is a corpse that we can use oh and also what am i doing down here i need to do this when you come down here you get the cat and the cat's super useful for uh whatever reason <laughs> we can grab the sack head and, and plop it in as well not sure what the sack head is used for but hi cat can i blow up this keeper no might as well check you know it's still good to know can i bomb oh you know what can i bomb the big poop no I mean, it seems like it'd be something you could interact with, but I suppose not. At least I have that knowledge. If we come down here, we access the toilet. Congratulations. Let's pick up all the poop, even though I don't really think it, it does anything at all. Since we're holding the plunger, if we go up to it, it will activate. We get fear shot and a corpse. We also get some uh, goodies like a key and stuff. I don't think these poops really do anything because you have to be Danger Blue Baby for these to even work. But I'm going to pick them up just because. Fear shot, I'm going to take with me all the way back to the starting room. I'm assuming because we got it. Oh my god, okay. I'm pretty sure this is <laughs> it's starting to feel like you're just showing up out of doors out of nowhere. How freaking dare you? <laughs> I I'm pretty sure because I used the plunger, there's no more use for the plunger. I'm gonna still keep it in mind, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to transfer it all the way to the starting room. I don't think that's needed. What I will do is come over here. I'm gonna have to fight him again. Or let's see if I can hide. Nope, I... I gotta go faster. I think you can hide in that big room. Like, if you go up there, I think that room is supposed to be, like, the end. But I mean, it's literally called the end. But you can't do it until you've gotten everything. Wow, that was really close to someone hitting me. They're getting a lot more aggressive. But I don't think there's anything else to do. It's just you go up here once you've done everything. And also, there's a Pandora's box, so it's good that I came here, actually. So now what we're gonna do is go back to the kitchen. Hopefully, I don't die, because my health is getting a little low. Grab the ice cube. And from there, touch the Uranus symbol with the corpse. And that should mean that I'm, I'm good to go. That's it. We've done one sacrifice. From there, though, I don't know what to do, but we can figure it out. I really need two more cents. I got to get that mom's purse. Oh my god, he's on his way. Where are you at? From the left? Nope, you're from the right. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, I got to remember. Fear shot, sack, head. Pandora's box, scissor. Fear shot, sack, head. Pandora's box, scissor. Beer shot, sack head, Pandora's box, scissors. Those are the things that I currently have that I can use. Boom. What happened? I, I thought this was supposed to work. Or I'm supposed to drop it. Okay, yeah. You're supposed to drop it on. I got, I got a little scared there. <laughs> this is our first sacrifice. This is what we did last time. Now I gotta figure out the rest. But what happens if I go up from here? Where, where am I? I hate this room, by the way. Like, you'd think it would be easy, but I swear to God, I take more damage here than anything else I've ever done. Like, more deaths than Tainted Lost. Okay, there is a corpse here. If there's a corpse here, and I just did the sack altar below, I have to believe that there's another sack close by that I have to put this guy on. Like, he's, he's close. Did I ever test if you can place 
place the dudes on the buttons? Is that what you gotta do? I mean, I might as well try, right? Here we go. Because there's no way I'm bringing him back down where there's nothing to do. That's just logical, I feel. I gotta engage in the gamer instincts and figure out what's going on here. Let's push you to the right. There's no way you're going down. Can you stand on this? No. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna leave you there and figure out where the closest altar is because that's definitely where they want us to put you. Also gotta remember that I have one bomb. I now have enough money for both paws and the mom's trinket. So that's great. There's a heart here. A lot of arrow room dudes. I don't need to place a bomb on that. No, I still don't get how that works, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Don't worry, gamers. I just want to figure out which corpse goes to which altar. You know, I, I don't want to unoptim- Oh, well, it's probably going through here, huh? Yeah, it's probably here. And then what is that, Luna? So my theory for this one is a, is a bit interesting. I think that you put the corpse here because it's mirrored, right? Like Super Mario 64 DS. Oh my God, Luigi is on the other side. You put it here because technically the altar is here. What's also interesting is you see that this is a blue fire, but it's a white fire over there. So does that mean that this is okay to touch? And therefore, does that mean that I have to do something? Like, I gotta touch it. I have a heart down there, so I'm willing to experiment. Let's try that. Okay, so he's in here. I don't actually see him, but you know, whatever. He doesn't have to be mirrored, I understand. I'm gonna touch this. Okay, I get it. I mean, I'm wrong, for surely. I'm straight up wrong. Um, I need to bring a trinket here. Whatever something has to do with, like, a mirror or moons, you know? Keep that in mind, but at least we have a corpse here. We have one, and at any point, I can bring any trinket here and just try each one of them and see what works and what does not work. Uh, there was a room to the right here. Let's keep moving forward in this direction. Oh, I hated this room, dude. I absolutely despised this room. This room made, like, no sense to me. I didn't know how to beat it without, like, getting hit. You guys know how much I hate grimaces. I don't have to repeat that to you. So what do you think at my brain goes through when I gotta deal with the grimaces? <laughs> Key door here. Key door. Key door. Okay. Hello. This was a room we found before. It gave me technology. And technology kind of did a weird thing. Or it gave me this uh, effect. I don't think the effect does anything. But we'll see. And we also got this. What? It, what simple is that? Okay. Just looked it up. It's Venus. Venus is the item where you get close to enemies. And they get charmed. And it's an HP up. So is there anything that we have that has something to do with like charming? I don't believe so. Maybe like in a reverse way. Sack head. <laughs> I mean, I don't know who you consider that charming, but you know, whatever. We know that there's an altar here. We got to put a corpse there. Good to know. I can kind of see a lot better with the, the technology on. I'm going to bring this technology all the way to the altar and, that we just made. And if that's not it, we're going to store it in the main room. Okay. Hello. Anything? No? No? Okay. No. I, I mean, I don't even know the rules, really. Like, I don't even know if I'm doing this correctly. Like, do I got to bomb it? I mean, not... I see like feet coming from here and stepping into the real world. I, I, you know, I don't really know how it works too much, but that's fine. We got an item. Let's just bring it back uh, and continue to progress, I think. Oof. Well, made it back here. I guess we could also push this thing around somewhere else. Maybe it does something better for us. Uh, but for now, we can buy this. This allows us to take two trinkets at a time. I have no idea what pause is supposed to do, but you know, whatever. I'm gonna drop the pause back in the main room and I'm gonna continue to explore on the left side. Uh, we got bismuth rocks here. Thanks to all the comments correcting me from saying that these aren't like glitchy square rocks and they're actually called bismuth rocks. Understood. Knowledge gained let's take the minecart there's a corpse already there but there's literally nothing i can do it has to be something to do with flight like there's literally nothing i can do you can't even create a rock you know and i i, I like to think that i understand isaac mechanics to a certain extent there's nothing else i could do other than fly in this situation a couple coins here there's this weird rotation dial thing which seems to have something to do with um those buttons when i stand on it it makes a sound okay it makes a sound that's sort of rhythmic but different every single time wait what oh my god i get it i think i get it it's telling me the code right it's it's a four digit code look one three five eight is that it? One, three, five, eight? Hold on, I need to go back. I think that might be it. I think I actually figured it out. I think it's a lot easier to think as well when you don't have, um, <laughs> like the giant spooky scary noises constantly playing. It was one, three, five, eight? 
Okay, I mean, my bad, my bad. I mean, I thought I that seemed pretty logical, right? Okay, well, what else do we got? We got this area, which I know about this. Caution Labyrinth. Uh, if you go over here, you got like a breatho meter. You're underwater. You walk out with the fish, and then you drop it, and then my guppy's dead, so that's probably not good. Hold on. Walk out, walk back in. Okay, there you go. Once you're done with underwater gas area, you drop the fish and he drops the yum heart. And by yum heart, I mean yuck heart. Yuck heart, I have no idea what to do with this whatsoever. Like, what requires yuck heart? Oh my god. Do you... Oh, I got out. Never mind, we're good. Oh my god. <laughs> And then from there, that's basically all we have, right? Like, this is where I was last time. I got the first- Whoa, careful. I got the first altar, all these trinkets, and I didn't know what to do from there. So, let's do some experimentation and try to figure this out. Oh my- Fucking god. Okay, listen. That scared the shit out of me. I'll say it. Like, I'll, I'll straight up say it. Like, that that was not okay. <laughs> Anything else? Can't pause it or something? Okay, pause doesn't work. Maybe we try this altar. I should also probably, like, pay attention to what the symbol is on the altar. Jupiter. Do I have anything that's like Jupiter? I, I don't think so. I'm just gonna try everything that I can. I mean, my, I, 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 eventually something's gotta work, right? Something's gotta give. <laughs> what have I not tried? Uh, I Did I try scissors? I don't think I did. I mean, I don't think scissors are gonna work, but whatever. Anything here? Still four. Drop it. No? Okay. We got another altar we can try. Do I have anything to do with rocks? Because I know that one by the tree was Terra. Rocks, rocks. We are the rocks. Oh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba rocks. No, I don't think so. Try this, because why not? I don't know if that was actually in. Please? No. Okay, I got one more combination, and then I, I might have to refer to some help here. I think the only thing we didn't really try is Fear Shot, which I don't know how that's going to work, but sure, let's go. And drop. I really don't think that dropping anything here is doing anything, but yeah. Okay. Okay, let me do some research. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I've researched and um, I'm gonna be real. I don't think I ever would have guessed this. <laughs> I did actually have the correct idea, but I guess I removed the generator a bit early. The generator needs to be in that room in combination with apparently Yuck Heart, at which point I do get the altar correctly for some reason. So let's just bring it back. I should have done this first because now I'm gonna have to bring it back back, but you know, whatever. Oh, voice crack moment in the entire video. It's over for me. Does bringing this along prevent the monster from coming? Because I feel like it does. It's really bright and I mean, I like never see static whenever I'm pushing this thing. I was like, you gotta put your back into it. You, I mean, I never see anything when I'm pushing this thing along. It's just that heavy. Okay, so now it's in here. So while it's in here, I dropped the yuck heart and now it works. Oh, oh, all right. Yep. I mean, yeah, I, I guess that one. <laughs> cool. All right. Two of nine, I believe. Maybe even less. Uh, let's push this back to the storage where the store is because, I mean, it is affecting. Oh, okay. That answers that question. It can still show up. It is still affecting the other kitchen appliances. So I'm sure there's some reason the generator has to be in there. I guess you're just supposed to do that first. You're supposed to feed the fish to the cat, get a yuck heart, and then be like, oh, what's this area? And then, you know, you get a, you get a thing. So apparently what you got to do is come back to this I can't breathe area uh, and literally die. I mean, I mean like straight up die. So let's uh, try that, I guess. You can die right here. Cool. It's gonna play the oh my god, you're dead sequence. You suck. Oh, by the way, there's technology if you didn't know. I'm gonna respawn and then we're gonna have to make our way back, which is not a big deal. Now, like I said, when you die, you actually spawn a corpse. And it's something I noticed while editing the first time. So I guess when you come over here and there's a corpse inside, for some reason, a uh, like a teleport button shows up and it TPs you to the, the right place you need to go. And this whole thing is like a bait. If I go up here, yeah, you see there's a TP now. Um, hold on. Wait a second. Sorry. So run over here and then you can see there's an air bubble right here and there's actually a Bible. More than anything though, there's also this area which for some reason accepts Fear Shot? Yeah, I mean, I don't really know how Neptunus and Fear Shot go together, but yeah, that's cool. We get to have the Bible and I think this is how we're supposed to fly. At which point, I don't think there's anything over here. I mean, what Nameless did was he didn't go over here, so I'm gonna assume I should go over here and I'm just a dumbass. Instead, he came back down here and pushed our previous corpse back to the tree area. And once he's in here, 
Uh, this is Terra, but I guess he needs to have the apple, which we got from here. So let's just grab that because we left that in the starting room. How I was ever supposed to figure this out without a guide? I don't know, but it's pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. I mean, now that I know what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> Guys, where's the apple? Where did I live? Oh God, where did I leave the apple? Why are you shooting me again? I'm pretty sure I left the apple here. Can you not shoot me right now? Can you not? Well, let me get back to where I was then. Okay, I'm generally back where I was. So give me this coinage. Let's try not to get hit. We push this dude, who is literally us, over here. Load this up, and then this should just work uh, once we place it right here. Uh, ba boom. Okay, cool. I don't know what um Terra has to do with an apple, but very nice. Maybe, I mean, it's an item. I don't know. So maybe it has something to do with rocks. So now, let's buy this. Apparently, pause is supposed to be used to, like, pause the monster. I didn't even know this, but we gotta go back to that four button area. Watch. If we hit four and trigger the alarm, we're actually supposed to <laughs> stay by the exit as he comes because he's gonna come there you are he's gonna come and then the doors open i'm sorry could you let me in <laughs> okay try again here we go there you go okay i see now that we're in here i'm missing a bomb i need a bomb whoopsies i need to come back okay now that we're back here i can blow up this area the vial will burst open and we get to have another corpse and this red key. Now that we have the red key, you know that we have Pandora's box, but Pandora's box is blue. So we actually got to go to the faucet by heading over. Well, hello, how are you? Don't come over here, please. Anyway, by <laughs> heading over to the faucet, we can clean it and get the regular Pandora's key, strange key. At which point we can now open Pandora's box, freaking finally. Oh my god, I never thought this thing would have been open ever. <laughs> Come over here, boom. By doing that, we now have unlocked space. As well as Pyromaniac and Unicorn Horn, which again, apparently you can literally use. We're gonna take Pyro and Unicorn Horn to the right side. Now, one of the reasons I was a little bit confused is I guess you're supposed to be intended to use Unicorn Horn to push this corpse out a little bit easier because otherwise it's supposed to be kind of hard, but I didn't need to do it. I did it without like getting hit. So, you know, a bit of a cracked gamer moment. I was confused as to like what uh, I'm really supposed to be doing. I guess I'll use the Unicorn Horn though because you know, I did just get hit. So what am I talking about? I can use it i can open this door very nice back in here place you in there and because i guess we have pyromaniac again this is why i was confused uh, we, we we're actually invulnerable to fires but i just did this in a way where i didn't need to so i'm just i was like yeah i'm nasty <laughs> but i guess you place it in here this is venus i i mean that's kind of like a heart so i i understand that one that's kind of that makes sense right we place venus in here and then it works at which point, we need to grab technology, and you go in the blood vial area, actually. Okay, come back over here into the secret, so top secret, the red spies at the base, get them, oh my god. Uh, area, we're gonna drop technology, and I guess apply it to his face, you know, because, I mean, he needed it, you know, his eyes were gone or whatever. Uh, grab the Bible, and Bible Unicorn is interesting while I do this sequence, because these two actually have to go together. I was correct in assuming that we had to have flight somewhere to get to that one area past the minecart area. It turns out that comes from the Bible. I don't know how um, having both Unicorn Horn and the Bible would work. Like, if I press spacebar, which one is gonna, you know, be used. So, for safety, I'm gonna drop the Unicorn Horn, then pick up only the Bible. Bible, use only the Bible, bring the unicorn horn over, and then this should just work. There you go. Nice. Now again, apparently, uh, this is supposed to be the buttons in order. Like you get an order and you just choose it. I don't know how that works, so I'm just gonna get the combination he did and press the buttons he did. Maybe I deserve the world's dumbest gamer award, but I don't see the number next to a button. Three, four, five, seven. Oh, I can work with that. I can work with that. Oh my god. Okay, finally. Okay, so apparently it goes like this. Three. Assuming I hit that. Oh my god. I wish I. I probably should have stepped on it for longer. Whatever. Four, five, and then he had three, four, five, eight. But I guess that this one is seven, and he skipped out on it. So work. Oh my god. Oh, old old Isaac secret room music. I like that. Okay. Thank God. All right. 
Eeny, meeny, miny, you. We come back here, and you can hear a little bit of an explosion-ish thing. Secret room unlocked. Nice, hello. There's a death certificate here, and we're supposed to combine a corpse with sack head, I guess. But I don't know where a corpse is is actually okay apparently it's you like i i should not have put you in here I, I actually need you so boom as we walk in here that's done we got one last thing to do we cannot die because we actually need to have at least two lives for two corpses so if i die now i'm actually i'm straight up boned i simply need to go back to that mirror room oh god you're giving me a challenge for this last one i see and then use death certificate i guess that's supposed to kill me and also activate the altar at the same time at which point we're gg over here now and i suppose you just press spacebar here and that works that's it you need to have all your lives for that to even work and now i can go up here and we did it okay we did it i don't know what this is where you got a whole cutscene going okay this is actually pretty cool oh my god i'm consuming the planets cool epic is it a boss fight do I have to fight? Okay, no, wait, I, just, I probably just have to survive. Well, it's doing like the Undertale. Oh my god, you've collected all the hearts sequence. Okay, okay. This is actually so sick. Wait a second. I'm actually, I'm a big fan. You unlocked nothing. GG.